The Echo Effect project is an excellent project because what it does, it really looks at innovation, and that is how can we train our drivers? And, and the beauty of the project is that when we train the drivers, across the board we can have a 10% reduction in emissions. That's good for the environment, that's good for energy savings, and it's also good for the economy of the transport operators. So overall, bravo to the project because it's something that will have a real impact. Echo driving has been around for some time now, but the difficult element in it was, was it really working? Was it delivering results? So that's why in EcoEffect we have that innovative element that we do a lot of measuring to understand what is effectively taking place. And through that measurement, we can now say that yes, we have concrete results and we are saving on fuel consumptions, hence the benefit for the transport operators. Uh, and on another side, by the same percentage, we are saving on, on CO2 emissions. I think we created a quality, a really quality eco-driving program, uh, the highest I've seen. And, and from, my, from my perspective, I've, I've been doing this since 1997 in Sweden. And we took all the lessons that we learned from the journey of eco-driving and we put this into this program. We performed a really, really good education in the program. Uh, two, that contains two parts. One is uh, train the trainer and one is um, for drivers. We have trained about 1,600 drivers approximately because training is still going on. So it's a figure that is uh, changing uh, every day or every week. Uh, there are 77 trainers that have been trained. What the drivers have learned is mainly anticipation. You learn that you actually go there faster if you don't stop. If you do one stop in an urban area, that is about two and a half kilometers of driving in fuel. When, when you learn that, you don't, you don't want to stop. You, you create space and you use your brakes not to stop. When they learn that, they actually get there at the same time or even a little bit faster. Then it's easier for them to adapt the system. We started uh, one and a half year ago. Fuel consumption was 32 liters. Uh, now, after training uh, 26 trainers and uh, about 650 uh, drivers, our fuel consumption uh, went down to 28, 29 liters. And still we're going down, so that means uh, we didn't uh, finally reach uh, our lowest uh, level. Um, what we also reached, and uh, what is a big plus for our company, is that uh, we see about 30% less accidents, damages on our complete fleet of 240 trucks. Certainly, we would say there will be an impact on road safety, but we never really measured it. Now, with Echo Effect and through the monitoring of the performance of the driver, we could also monitor, and that's a testimony from the companies that have been involved in Echo Effect, that basically they saw a reduction in terms of accidents, which is quite significant as well. We've been discussing different figures and it depends from a company to another one, but it goes from 25 to 40 percent. The drivers are coming in and asking for the performance, asking what they can improve a little bit, uh, what they are doing wrong. In one and a half year brought our drivers on a higher level, on a professional state. So uh, that's uh, one of the most important things, uh, fuel saving, less accidents and um, more happy drivers. They, they drive in higher gears, uh, they skip gears uh, while accelerating. Acceleration is uh, the most, uh, yeah, it's the one thing that costs when you drive, right? And they learn about how to do a proper acceleration using uses of the gears, uses of the help gears or and the help brakes. So they can use the help brakes in the right way. Yeah, we're going to select 10% uh, of our drivers, the best drivers, and then we're going to perform them for uh, the best driver of the month, the best driver in a quarter, the best drivers in half a year and after a year. And uh, a good driver, the best driver in half a year, uh, will get for him and his family a weekend to uh, centre parks, uh, to going on holiday for a short break in a weekend. And uh, the driver, the best driver within one year, is going a week on holiday to Spain, uh, paid by our company. So currently we have uh, about 55 training centers that we are working with in more than 35 countries. Our objective is to make it self-sustainable and uh, that it becomes a program that can be rolled out to as many 
um, transport companies and training centers. It is obvious that such a program is of paramount importance also for coaches and buses. Road safety is for us uh, our number one priority. So this is important. We are carrying people. So I would say the comfort aspect is, of course, much more important than when you are carrying goods. The big savings, I would say, are, of course, the same as uh, for trucks. That's clear. It's about uh, the consumption, it's about the CO2, it's about uh, the image. There are some parts of the activity when you're thinking about scheduled services which cannot necessarily be adapted to improve your figures because you need to stop, I would say, every 250 meters, for instance, uh, where there is a public stop uh, for a bus line. Croatia can win on so many different ways. For us, the company will have so many savings. Driver, they need to have the new skills because no one wants to work with uh, drivers without education and without skills. Also in Croatia government, we pay a big penalty for the Kyoto Sporazum and emission of SEO2. So it is just an investment. The already money we put on one direction for this penalty, if we put in the different way, like education for the driver, we will have uh, less unemployment in Croatia. So it's so many different ways we can earn the money and have a more happy citizens. Yeah, it's a win-win. It's a win for the transport. Uh, for the transport undertaking. It is work behind and we know it. I think that was clearly emphasized uh, through all the, the presentations that are made around EcoEffect. It is a lot of work to implement it, but once it's implemented, it works and it's, uh, you have definitely tangible and measurable returns. So it's not just, it's not a cost. And I think that's how those training programs have to be looked at. They're not cost. There are opportunities. I have been honored to award today two best transport companies that contributed to a greener and smarter road transport industry and the representatives from Polish company Vivetrans and Romanian company Duvenbeck. I also would like to award in recognition of excellence achieved as professional drivers Mr. Michał Łucza from HSW Logistic Polska and Mr. Dorek Ruz. I would like to thank all recognize the vision and have driven the implementation of EcoEffect program in their companies and daily work.